So let me show you in this video how you could get a little bit different device tag for a cable. So a device tag which consists of a source and a target of the cable. To do that, you go to Let's select our project, of course, then we'll go to Cables and Number. Then you could create your own filter, let's say, source target. OK. This is the section you want to see according to source and target. Let's say the square brackets, you'll see the effect in a moment. And that's about it. Let's click OK. Apply to entire project and preview of the result. OK. So this is what we get. All of them are located in the factory one, in the field. Identifier for the cable W and the square brackets. And inside you have this info of the source and the target. So the source is in the cabinet two, X1. And the motor is the target in the field. We still don't see that in the circuit diagram, so let's click OK. And now we get it. Although it looks a little bit different over there, this is what you get over here in the circuit diagram. So you don't see this one since this structure is the same all over the place in the circuit diagrams. Let's click OK. And uh, talking from my professional experience, this is what we use when we work for projects on for Volkswagen. And the next thing we want to have, so Volkswagen uses aluminum device tags for cables. So you write a device tag, you print a device tag on aluminum plate, and this is a device tag you use in the factory. So it's very endurant and lasts forever. But they want, don't want to see this bracket. In that case, let's say you want to send the cable list, the cable overview of all the cables in this project to a manufacturer who manufactures these aluminum plates and prints the device tags. In that case, let's use any properties externally like we learned in the previous video. So utilities, let's just first go to Cables Navigator, choose all of them, and say utilities, A properties externally, export data, export and start application, so that we don't want to change it and put it back to ePlan. We want to send this Excel file to someone who manufactures these aluminum plates and prints these device tags. Let's click OK. Now we can play it a little bit in Excel and say Ctrl F. So a minus V. We want to replace with a Okay, close. Another thing we want to do, we want to lose the brackets. So this one replaced with nothing. And the other one. Replace and close. This is what you now get. And this is a 
list you can send to this manufacturer of the aluminum plates. Let's say save and that's about it. Source target. Of course, there's, a, there's another option as you already saw. You can use according to source to target. You can use round brackets if you want and so on. Apply to entire project or only to the ones you select. Let's say just for these three motors. Number, source target. You want to use round brackets for any reason and only according to target. Okay. So for these three, now we have this effect. Let's click OK. And you also see that in the circuit diagram. So you can play with that one according to the standard of your customer or to your own need or like your boss says you to do and so on. And that's about it.